here we go again. Oh my goodness. So there is a video that came across my timeline that's also been sent to me by various people and I wanted to cover it because <laughs> I think it's important that we attack videos like this and narratives like this uh, head on, right? We get, in, we get ahead uh, of the narrative before it, it loses all form and turns into something that is divisive. So in this video, you have this black man who is talking about Nigeria. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I'm sure it's been in your timeline as well. And he's talking about Nigeria and he's talking about, hey, Nigeria, it's made up. Why is there such, you know, um, such a love or an allegiance to this made up, uh, you know, land? Nigeria as a concept didn't even exist until about six decades after slavery ended in the United States. So if you were to ask your ancestors that suffered through the Middle Passage about this thing called Nigeria, they would look at you like, bro, what the f are you talking about? He talks about how, you know, the British are now invading their museums, you know, they're changing, not allowing them to speak their native tongue. He also adds on that, you know, Nigeria didn't even exist until six decades after America ended slavery and yada, yada, yada. In fact, it wasn't until about the early 1900s that Lord Lugard on behalf of England took out his little African map and said, okay, the Belgians took the Congo River, we'll take the Niger River and we'll leave France with the desert. And so Nigeria was born and similarly so essentially all other African states. And today people so strongly identify with these concepts of nationality, which is not inherently negative, but you literally have Africans telling African-Americans that they don't know where they come from. Bitch, we barely know where we come from. Nigeria is a made up concept. It was crafted in 1914. I was at its hundredth birthday. Day. And since then, the British have been putting our art in their museums, putting our fuel in their cars, beating us for speaking our language in schools and telling us praise be to Jesus and God save the- The issues that I have with this um, are that when it comes to America, well, it depends on how you define the United States of America. Because, hear me out, the reason why I say that is because there are people who want to say that America is, is not a racist country. It's not a racist country. You have to understand this, okay? And that constantly, this, this concept of America is what we're constantly trying to strive for, okay? You know, the equal, you know, e equality, you know, non-racism, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, well, if that's how you define America, then I would argue America didn't come to it, uh, you know, into existence until 1965, until the Civil Rights Act. Because what America was united in was anti-black racism. And I'm going to stop saying that like there's any other form of racism in this country. Predominantly, it's been racism. And racism has always been synonymous with, with anti-black. That's what it's been. It's been synonymous with black Americans in this country. So I'm going I'm to I'm stop saying that because I noticed that I had to say anti-black racism because, you know, mofos were saying, oh, it's anti-white racism. I, I'm not going to give credence to that drivel, okay? That's lunacy. So it's always been synonymous with racism, if that's, what we're, if that's what we're talking about when it comes to the United States. Even during its inception in 1776, they were talking about the United States. What were they united over, bruh? Think about it. What were they united over? So think about the, 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 the schizophrenic response or the hatred you have to, to call it, to call it the United States. After, you know, you know given that there are a group of people that you're enslaving and treating like, like cattle, hence, you know, chattel slavery. If that's not the argument that you want to make that, you know, that it came during, you know, the 1776 and that's, that's United States as we know it, yada, yada, by all means. But you also have to take into account that United States, that's, that's made up, okay? It's, it's made up. It's made up by a group of people who were not even thinking about black Americans. So just as Nigeria, Sure, that's a made up, it's a made up word. And he talks about how if you ask your ancestors, what the heck, they would tell you what the heck is Nigeria. Well, the concept is it, the concept has is that it's, it's a landmass, despite the name that if you come from this landmass, well, now it is now known as Nigeria. That's what it's called. So I don't get this whole, well, you don't know where you come from, yada, 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 because you can trace back, okay, where do you come from on this landmass, on this continent of Africa, where do you come from? What section? Okay, that is now known as Nigeria. That is now known as Ghana. That is now known as, you know, Zimbabwe, yada, yada, yada. I didn't get that. And then lastly, when it comes to the whole existence and, you know, the overall of this video, I feel this video is a nothing burger. That's, that's how I, that's what I took from it. I didn't take anything from it. 
It didn't mean anything to me. Uh, it didn't say anything. There was no insight, insightfulness to the video, nothing whatsoever. Because everything, everything has to be created. Every name has to be conjured up. Someone has to come up with a name, like I'm gonna name it this. So, but I think the bigger picture is, is that it seems that some people are trying to use this to divide. And I know there's this whole black American versus non-black American, you know, FBA, Tether, all this, all this going on. And at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm going to say this, you're going to hang just like I'm going to hang. You may uh, <laughs> be a foreigner. You may not be from this country. You're going to hang just as I was hanging. It's not, it's not like we're going to swing differently from, from the branch. So I think what needs to happen is that, hey, for all the, the, the immigrants, the black immigrants who come from Africa or wherever you come from, understand that when we use certain pejoratives, it's not for all immigrants, not for all Africans, or at least not for me. It's for those who are the Sambos of Africa. Now, Africa, Africa may have a, another word for them, but here in the United States, you know, that's, that's the pejorative that we are using currently to label, uh, uh, you know, coons, uh, Sambos, those who are anti-black but come from Africa. We already have anti-black Americans. We already have anti-black, black Americans at Bay, whatever you want to call yourself, freedmen. We already have them. We call them Sambos, coons, and, you know, a whole bunch of other things. So... It's not to, to label an entire group of people and it's not to cause any type of rivalry because that rivalry doesn't get us reparations. It doesn't get us an end to, to redlining. It doesn't help with as far as the redistricting, redistricting. It doesn't help with the socioeconomic impact that's going on in this country. All that leads to is in-house fighting. And as I've said before in my, my, you know, my extinction video is that that's not gonna solve, it's not gonna solve anything. I'm about to do a video on, you know, they're raising, uh, raising rent prices in government housing. And I don't know, like, do you understand what's going on here? There's another video as far as where it's an entirely uh, a non-black police force, an Hispanic police force, and they're not being very, uh, let's say, uh, hospitable to the, 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 the black community in which they are policing. So I think there are bigger things going on right now than, than arguing, hey, where you come from, you know, you know, who are you, yada, yada, yada. That's, that's a bigger, there's a bigger picture, okay? As I've said before, you worrying about the, the micro and there is a mi macro problem occurring right now in front of our faces. Because whether it's reparations, whether it's, you know, uh, any of the issues that are going on in black, you know, black Americans, um, you're going to need some type of leverage. If you want to move that needle, you're going to need some type of leverage. And I don't think many people understand that. You're going to either need some finances. You're going to need some political influence. You're going to need some, uh, some social uh, 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 clout. Something that can cause people to be persuaded to, to as far as fix or to offer solutions or to accept solutions to the problems we have as a collective before the collective disappears. I don't know, I, I don't know how many marches you can go to. I, I, I think people going to marches for reparations is nonsense. If you're going to a march, if you're going to a rally, if you're going to a, a, a fishing, if you're going to dinner, if you whatever it is, there, there has to be a call to action. You have got to get people boots on the ground. There's got to be legislation push to, to people who are in positions of power. We have got to learn this political game. And in the meantime, between time, I get it. It's easier to criticize, hey, this group of people, or hey, this Nigerian, or hey, this Akata, or you know, I get it, it's easy. It doesn't, take, it doesn't take much energy, not at all. You know, a few tweets, maybe a post, something, doesn't take much energy. But in actually, in, in the real world, okay, because I think a lot of people live online, but in the real world, none of that matters. None of, none of that matters whatsoever. That doesn't impact your taxes. That doesn't impact your rent. That doesn't impact your mortgage. That doesn't impact your salary. None of that impacts any of that. So we have got to pull ourselves out from this bickering and actually move, okay? Actually cause some change. Or 
as I, you know, as I've said in my Extinction video, you're, you might as well learn Spanish and Mandarin. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not Lucas Lucas is extremely important to delineate, okay, because this is what's going on and this is what's happening. This is how we get our reparations, yada, yada, yada. Or if you can't believe, I hear you. I, I, I hear you. I, I, I get all that. But I'm just letting you know, at the end of the day, your delineation, any of that, doesn't matter if the people who are going to put pen to paper don't side with you. If they're saying, hey, he's with the blacks. Do you understand that? That you can have all this organization and the, at the end of the day, if everyone around your group doesn't like you, doesn't want to, to hear what you have to say, doesn't want to hear your grievances, nothing will happen. Nothing. So I think we need to be looking at this from a more strategic uh, point of view, as every other group has, whether it's the alphabet, whether it's, you know, the uh, illegals, whether it's uh, even shoot, white people nowadays, and they're trying to claim anti-white racism. So you, you have to be strategic with it. And I think that section, that part within this whole discourse is missing. And um, it is what it is. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement day, which is simply held, you know, Friday through Sunday. Call in. We duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think, whether my take on this is off or am I missing something, or if you happen to agree that, hey, this, I understand the semantics and, you know, the delineation and, hey, this group versus that group and where you come from and, you know, the history. That's great. History is awesome. What we need to be concerned with is the present and the future. I think you, you're so focused on the, the past that the mofos right now is changing our future. So I, I, I'm more concerned with the future and everything because I don't know if you happen to see what's going on, especially with AI. If you don't think that's been going to be weaponized, um, I, I, I'm just saying all that, you know, name changing, name calling, where you come from. Listen, you need there needs to be some organization with like minded people. I don't care where you come from, who you are, like minded people who are focused on the empowerment before it's too late, before that ability, that possibility to actually uh, congregate with like minded people is stripped from us. I'm not playing. It's a serious thing. Um, anyways, subscribe and oh, that fun stuff till next time, guys. Be amazing. And yada, yada, yada.